Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Calvin Johnson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uninstall Google Chrome from a remote device. So here I have a Windows Server and if for example I'm working as an IT service desk engineer or you're just a home user, I want to uninstall Windows and Google Chrome from Windows 11 device. So what you need to do is, if I go to my Windows 11 device here, you can see I have Google Chrome installed on that device and what i actually did on this machine is first of all if i go to fire explorer and i go to this pc and on my local disk you can see i have a folder called the ps tools so if i open the ps tools you can see we have different application on it so for example the first one i'm going to use the ps ps exec which of course gives me the opportunity to actually remotely connect to a device using powershell or the command prompt but how to how do we use this program first of all we need to open let me just close this i want to open powershell as an administrator and let me just clear my screen and i want to actually connect just change my directory to that folder ps ps tool and in the ps tool i have i want to enter ps exec and then i need to enter double backslash c001 but first of all what we need to do let me just show you something you need to make sure that you are able to ping that device that the device is online because if the device is not online you will not be able to uninstall google chrome from that device and if i go to back to the windows 11 device open the command prompt and you can see our host name is c001 and if i enter ip config you can see our IP address ends with 201. So let me go back again to the device and you can see the other 201. So let me just clear my screen and let's go again back to the PSSEC and then backslash C001. Then I'm going to use the system account to connect to that device and I'm going to just connect to his, the command prompt and hit enter. And see, it's trying to actually connect to that device. So if you have successfully connected to that device, you can see you can see the, the, that the connection was successful by looking at the tops or at the top of the PowerShell screen. You can see we have the double backslash and C001, which means that I'm connected to that device. So what I need to do right now is I will need to actually change to the folder. I will need to change to let me just go back. Yeah, so I need to change to program files where Google Chrome is installed. So if I do directory, you can see we have a folder called Google. So let me just change to Google. And if I change to Google, then I need to change to Chrome. If I enter directory, you can see we have the folder called application. So let me just change to application. But the problem with the PS exec, if I try to, for example, if I do directory, you can see we have a folder called 95. If I enter 95 and I try to use to actually complete or to complete, you can see that it's not working. So it doesn't work with the PS exec. So let me just enter the full. Or I can just what I can do is I can actually copy this. And then let me just change directory. That directory and let's see what do we have in this folder so i'm going to actually move to the folder called installer that's this folder there so let me just move to the folder called installer and here we have in the installer folder if i enter directory you can see we have like for example we have the chrome.7z setup.exe and so what i want to do is i want to enter the following command so i'm going to make sure that i enter this command so I'm going to leave this command in the description of this video. So here you can see with this command, we should be able to actually uninstall and force the uninstall of Google Chrome. So let me just try to force the uninstall. And here you can see it's trying to it's actually receive an error message. But if I go back again to my Windows 11 device, here you can see that Google Chrome is no more there. So let me go to my programs and files. So if I go to programs and file, you can see I'm not seeing Google Chrome there anymore. And if I go to, let me just go to my folder and go to this PC. Let's see. If I go to the program files, there you can see we still have Google, but the folder should be empty. If I have applications, you can see the folder is just empty. There's nothing in that folder, which means that Google Chrome have been uninstalled from this device. 
so let me go back again to my dc here you can see we receive an error message which says the system could not find the expect file file probably i make an error miss i don't think there's any error in the in the script well well the file was uninstalled so i'm gonna actually see if fail to delete the folder okay to fail to actually delete the folder so that's why i receive an error message you can see that the folder was not deleted so what i can actually do is i can actually just go back again and then try to delete the folder using the partial script or the command prompt to actually delete that folder thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video my name is calvin johnson this is how you uninstall Google Chrome from a remote device using a PX exec. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT videos. Bye.